Sorry, um, like Kyo. Um, I've just noticed your text there in um, the YouTube channel. The text is a bit small there. Disappointed. This disappeared. I'm actually I'm um, just doing the um, Toby eye tracking, just showing some of our guys in the org how far I've got on the development of it. Basically, I'm actually using the eye retina instead of the arm um, the head tracking and you can see I'm just testing the smoothness of it but every time I take my eye off the screen to look at the other screen as you can see the adjustment is different See some of the colleagues in our group at the moment, when they're moving around fast, it gives them a bit of dizziness and etc. So I'm trying to adjust the sensitivity so it's not as intrusive, but still keep the functionality. It's all a work in progress at the moment, as you can see. At the moment, as you can see, well, I was actually using foot pedals, but my foot pedals have only got two degree access and so I get me new foot pedals but at the moment you know there's a clamp down there's no trade coming in and no trade going out so when my foot pedals are come, come in I've got to now move back to um, hand joysticks for fine adjustments and movement but looking and walking is done with the eyes for instance as you can see there now I'm walking that's me there with light throttle on the joystick now I'm using the eyes to turn around as you can see that looks like it's a glitch I do usually play in 4k but for the smoothness of this I'm about to come down to 2k but when it's rendered it should look a lot better I'm actually doing this live on uncut there now at the moment. Thank you. So I'm not replying to you back in text, but like I said, I have to glance back at the other screen, you see. I've also noticed with the eye retina, when your eyes get tired, it's a little bit difficult to focus. It's like it goes up and down because the eyes are tired. It doesn't move as responsibly. The other problem I have with this, because this is mouse um, bounded, if you try to use joystick, you get conflict. If you do like what we're doing, just put a like button and you can subscribe to the YouTube so when we do these things, you can always uh, come up. Plus, if you want to join and get more information, our Discord channel is actually down there. As you can see, I'm going a bit faster, and it's my eyes there doing the steering. So all to do with practice, the eyes coordinate with the brain and the hands at the same time. But as I do more, the better I'll get at it. That is all eye coordination. You can see how smooth it is. I'm going to go down the stairs now. Accurate. Well, it's not accurate. It's a lot better than joystick, as you can see, because it's continuous. I'm actually trying my best not to um, bump into things. But what I'm trying to do here now, when people are actually walking around, I'm actually looking at the person and my eyes are actually following them.
but there's nobody here. The NPCs are not moving at the moment, so I can't show it down here. But I think what I'll do, I'll go and use the stair, the list now. All right, Ed, look at that guy there. Oh, he's come to stand still. He's disappeared. Pity. It's all down to sensitivity now. Ah, look at that guy there. Watch how my eyes are following while he's walking. I wish he would walk around a bit. Who are you looking at? I'm better looking than you. <laughs> Thanks. Just a bit of playing about with, you know what I mean? Until CIG actually implements it in. They are working on it at the moment. You know what I mean? You've got head tracking and you've got eye retina. Now, the eye retina is actually using the pupil of your eyes and the head tracking is that does your head. The head tracking isn't as accurate because the reason why the head tracking is not accurate when the person's moving your head doesn't follow the person but your eyes follow the person that's the difference I'll give you an idea in a minute Soon I'll be able to have the head tracking and the eye tracking working together. Now the problem I have here now, I want to interact with the arm um, key with the arm um, panel there. When I press it, as you can see, the mouse doesn't can't track it because it is conflicting with the joystick, the mouse and the what they call it. So what at the moment what I have to do is switch off the eye tracking. As you can see, then use the mouse to interact with the buttons. Oh. Then put back the eye tracking on. Oh, someone was in the lift. I'll try and follow this guy, you'll see what I mean. He's gone the wrong way. I'm not on sprint at the moment, so I'm having trouble keeping up with him. Finally ready to take the plunge on a used ship? Swing by the New Deal shipyard for exciting deals on all your favorite brands. I lost my bearings, I'm just trying to find out where I am at the moment. That was because I was looking around the screens. I'll get my bearings back in a sec. Why not consider calling Lorville home? Residences are available at all price points. Habitation rep for details. It's that way. I'm sure it is. Ah, oh, no, I'm going the right way. Welcome to Metro Center. Transfers to the perimeter, spaceport, and industry lines.
Welcome to Metro Center. Transfers to the perimeter, spaceport, and industry lines. Step away from the platform edge when train is approaching. Watch your step when disembarking the train. Well, I've not actually started on that flying yet. Um, I would say um, there's, there's actually four elements to this. You've got walking, which you can see now, and you've got driving, you've got spacewalk, and you've also got the flying. I would say I'm about 70% in walking as you can see, about 50% in driving, nothing in spacewalk, I've not done no key bindings or setups on that, or in flying there too, because it depends how you want to use it, is how you set up your key bindings, and as you can see, just working out the algorithms and what is the best setting so you don't get the dizziness. And I usually do this in 4K, but I found out it's better at the moment for my settings to do this in 2K. But when I've got all of everything working, then I'll go back into 4K. I usually do use SLI, but there's also a bit of conflict in that at the moment because of the flicker. But don't forget, Star Citizens is resource intensive. See, I'll go ahead of this guy now and watch how it, I follow with just my eyes. Oh, he sat down. These guys are lazy. But I must agree, it is a lot smoother. You can see every time I look away from the screen, I need to work out a key bind to switch this off actually. So I can look up it look away from the screen and not get the motion sickness when I'm looking away. It's not hard to work out, it's just learning another program you see. I'm actually using um Vjoy to do all this, that's this software here. That's what I'm using. Sorry, free pie. As you can see, I've got the joysticks rammed out because of the conflict. question is, did I go on the train? Let's have a look. Be considerate, your 
Yes, I did. So I matched Tessa Spaceport. I walk around them on the outside and I cut back in on them again. I think, talking about flying, I don't think I would use my eyes to steer the ship, but I would look it to aim certain things and then if I want to shoot, it's pointing at it. But to steer the ship, I wouldn't actually use my eyes. But I don't just use one operators, I use voice attacks for certain functionalities. As you can see I'm using the iRetina for walking, I've got pedals, for, um, sorry, iRetina for looking around, pedals for walking, which I'm not using at the moment, I'm using joystick. And you've got your joysticks for other things. What I would like to use is a Wii controller. But that's a long way off yet because there's so much you're doing Star Citizens. You only got so many hours in a day.
Hey, welcome to the new deal. Give me a fright then. Definitely take a look at Savings are in our name. Take a walk around and just breathe it in. You know, it's it's a big decision. Okay, thanks, mate. Eighty-five X, Aurora, Joggers, Prospector. Hercules Adventure I can felt the breeze then. Razor. Okay, good night, mate. I also want to work on is the zooming.
That's something else I could do actually. But that won't be done today, it's too much on. Welcome to Key Bindings. Don't understand what these do. Tracking recalibration.
that one I want to look into. Best save these settings first. can't use two keys at once on that zoom in ADS zoom out ADS nothing here at the moment Lights on. I haven't been in a constellation in a long time. Lights off. I think this was the second ship I bought in game. Not in game, I mean with real cash. The first one was the Freelancer Max. And from this I went straight to the um, the 600i. I 
and I still think the 600 at the moment is the best all rounder. But the constant, um, the Carrack is looking a very in impressive ship. I did really want to buy this um, Phoenix when it first came out, but the reason why I didn't buy it. It's because when it first came out, it was supposed to have this and it was supposed to have that. But luckily, I didn't spend my money to find out later on, it didn't have this and it didn't have that. And that's the only reason why I never bought this ship. Basically, point of interest, all in kind of thing. Yes, we know it's got development and everything. But, would I buy this ship here? No, oh, no I wouldn't. But it's still a very good ship. And I do believe this ship can fit on the javelin. I know you're what you're thinking. The freelancer wasn't supposed to fit on the 890 jump, but it did. <laughs> okay. And it's only 20 meters bigger. We know it can fit on the Kraken, it's not a problem there. But I'm actually building up a fleet to do certain things, you see. I've got nearly every ship in the game at the moment to complete specific tasks. And you know something? This ship is actually free in game, I'm almost sure it is. And I have yes it is because I'm in it now, aren't I? And I haven't bought it. It's not the credits that's holding me back. I think it's the unreliability and consistency. One minute things work and the next minute things don't work. No point me open all the cupboards. Lights on. As you can see, and what all this I'm doing with my eyes. I should have put the lights on in the ship. Oh, they've actually got a new panel in this. Lights off. Oh, it's single beds in the Phoenix. I always thought there were double beds. Right, okay. So these have got single beds. 
the 600 eyes got single beds and one double bed so this has got eight beds in total the 600 eyes got oh wait a minute no they both got the same beds this has actually got more no 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 I'm almost sure the um, executive version's got double beds. The TV's going off. Just give me a second. Yeah, so this one's got single beds. The eight, the um, 600i has got single beds of a total of eight and one double bed. But the ex um, the executive VIP version's got four double beds plus four single beds and the captain's quarters bed. So that's a total of. I don't even know what the um. I haven't got that, so I'm going to have to look it up. So that's a total of... Just assume it's got eight beds, beds each. That's four, that's eight. Plus four, that's twelve. Fourteen beds, the 600 I might have the executive. I can't remember because I haven't got that, as you can see. I'm controlling all this by my eyes at the moment. So for testing purposes. I was actually going to put the lights on, wasn't I? But to tell you the truth, this shape for a single person, believe it or not, or two people is adequate. Everybody's sleeping at the moment. I am using iRetina at the moment to control this um, character because I'm actually testing at the moment. There's just the four beds, eight in total. So this ship can actually carry eight people. Quite a lot actually for a small ship. Yeah, I'm gonna turn lights on, wasn't I? Activate systems. Space industries. Enjoy the world. System check. I must admit, when CIG started working on these ships in the beginning, the detail and the quality was up to standards. I can't see that putting in the same type of work in the new ships and they cost a lot more. Look at that. There's enough here to explore the brain. They took a lot of work and a lot of time and patience when they designed these. The Kairok is a good ship, okay. But when you look at it, you tell me all this work, can you see all it's in there behind closed doors? Yes. But look at the detail in these ships and all the earlier ships are like this detail they didn't just throw these things in they carefully thought about it but now they're coming out with these ships charging three times the amount and the detail and the quality is not even there
Fuck. Smooth. They didn't just throw things in there, they thought about it. They made it fit. And that's what I think is let down the new generation just ship. Yes, they've got nice styling, curved lines, but the love and attention they're putting these ships, they're not in the um new they're not in the new ships now. And that's a big disappointment at the end of the day to do what they're charging. Yeah, we know it's the develop paper development of the game, but the quality I don't think it's there. Uh, it's not Bob Marvin CIG at Nick, because I spent a lot of money with them. And I, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you know what you're looking for. There's things to do in this, there's things to look at. You can sit down and you can relax. It's like being in a comfortable home in your own environment. Now you look at, I know the Carrick is not the same sort of ship, but at least. You need things to explore the brain. One of my friends, um, Commander Yosa, he's got one of these ships. When I go on there... Yes, I, I have. Oh my God, he's still here, isn't he? <laughs> I, Commander Yosa, I just go on his ship and I just sit down there. I let him fly the ship and I just relax. And look at the stars, look at the planets and everything. Every time I go on his ship, he charges me a big 50,000 credits just to sit on his sweaty coin. But you know something? Five, it's five worth it. Thousand. Oh, you've dropped it now, have you? Oh, okay. No, that's all you paid. Five? Okay. I must have ripped him off. I must have given him blank checks. <laughs> it's like in real life. Oh, boy. And uh, I think, unless you class the double bed as two singles, there's only seven beds on the field. No, I was comparing them with, um... Oh! There's seven, I thought there was four! Four in the crew department. Yeah. Two singles and a double in the passenger. Well, let's look for this, one sec. That's a single. That's a single. That's a double. That's a double. That can hold two people. So that's four in here and four in the crew quarters. That's a total of eight beds. It's not eight beds, it's three beds. It's one double and two singles in, in the passage department. Okay, how many people is that in total then? Can it store? You won't get two people in the double bed. Okay. Star citizens are not that way inclined. Oh! I floated off! I'm on the right side of the bed now. Okay. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> now I'm trying to get to the other side. Well, you used to be able to, I don't see why you can't. I'm just having keyboard problems at the moment. I have to turn down to what they call it. And I'm on the other side. So, you can yeah, start it. I don't see anybody else beside you. Yeah, no. I'm... You're, on, you're on your own in the double bed, which is what it's going to be all the time. In your ship, yeah. This ship is going to 
mess up all my stream and I can see it. Like I said. I love it when the plane comes together. As I feel the job. Yeah, but I didn't want to be dis I didn't want to be displaying bugs on the show, I just wanted to do a, do a clean stream, you see, but Ah well. Okay. And the problem is now that could actually bug out the whole of my streaming. You see, basically the um, streaming that I do is live and it's uncut, you see. And it's not rehearsed. So, because I've done it so many times, I know what, I know what to avoid, you see. So you guys, you know to avoid it. <laughs> what you call it? You know to avoid the Phoenix and new deals. And... Yeah, because we want to show the viewers what the game's about. Yeah, you know I mean, because some people don't seem to understand that the game's in alpha and we're still working. Yeah, you know I mean, they expect a working game. And all everybody else, all they do is talk about the critics of the game and not that. That's what the game is about. It's about testing things, making sure it works. So when they final package does get there when it gets there we've got something you see as you already well know the missions in the game they're there but they're not really there but we create our own missions within them missions and then the game becomes very excitable hours of gameplay see um, our group is, is really multiple bug testers they actually are um, different from single bug testers as you well know you go into a ship by yourself and when you go in there you see a bug you know not to f go there again but in a in multi-role bug testing, which no one does, a group of us will go and we'll search out the ship. And when we search out the ship, we find out all the bugs that are in there, which is totally different from single bugs. So we can actually go in as a group and play as a group for hours, because we know what to avoid and what not, where to go and what, where to go, and where, yeah, etc. That's in played in cargo missions, um, Cargo missions, um, bounty missions, even um, fleet of ships missions, all them, convoys, all those we do. But we've had a new set of um, players come in our group in the last few months. They look at the game as Xbox, but these are really for the high individual that one that's looking at a different interactivity of the game but when we try to explain it they just don't get it you see so we let them develop it as they do in time we've got guys that teach guys how to play the game and give them different understandings we do graphics all sorts we don't just put them in there and just like that and we even let them use our ships because we've got ships all the year round because look at me for instance there's quite a few of the fleet commanders that is like that as you can see going into the ships and these are just in game alone these are the ships that I've got plus ships are not even in game yet And these ships, our players can actually use any time they want. So they can actually, I'm going to our ships, test the ships out. Oh, I like that ship, I'll go buy it. Plus also, the ships are also free in-game. So if you do like what we're doing, 
do a like and a subscribe, join our discord, post a comment, we're always doing videos. Welcome to Metro Center, transfers to the perimeter, spaceport and industry lines. Welcome to Metro Center, transfers to the perimeter, spaceport and industry lines. Welcome to Metro Center, transfers to the perimeter, spaceport and industry lines. Welcome to Metro Center. Transfers to the perimeter, spaceport, and industry line. I have to find a key binding for that. Four seconds. Yeah, it glitched. Next stop, Floorville City Gate. One of these keys just... Which one? I'm actually looking for the one that does the head tracking and I can't find it.
This is my favorite. I'll actually tell you the truth, I've not actually seen what it's like with these new settings yet. As you can see, 95% of the movement is actually eye coordination. When I've got all the graphics and everything set, then I'll go back into 4K and do the fine tuning adjustments. There's no way you could get this accuracy with just joysticks. No way. Activate systems. Welcome to Robert Space Industries. Enjoy the ride. System check. Power off. Shields power off. Activate systems. Welcome to Oh, it's foot pedals. Enjoy the ride. System check. Now that I'm driving, I need to adjust my sensitivity, so I've got more of an immersion. Because to me this is too slow. So now I've got to work out which keys to use for that. And give it a bit of fine tuning. Right, okay. Vehicle movements. not actually there
it looks like it's three and it's not three actually it should be two Drive backwards and forwards, that's foot pedals. So it should be two. But it doesn't say it here. So the settings must be in the mouse. And I can't see it. Basically what I'm look, looking for is where you look left and right. and it says it's there so it's access one now if it's access one now going to control look for vehicles so it should be here somewhere. right here somewhere it should be this one There's so many to choose from. You just got to be careful.
Christian Rowe. Let's see what that does. The only way to tell the difference is to put it full up in it. Not getting much response from that. It's what you call hit and miss at this stage. Put that back. That didn't make no changes. See also why I'm streaming because it's on stream I can go back on these for records later on to do my fine sets of tuning because you can see Star has got so much control there's no way you're going to remember this in your head impossible got something oh craps see when you touch things you mess things up Lights on.
bowl. That's because I wasn't looking where I was going. One thing I must say, when 3.9 comes out, the experience in microtech driving is out of this world. You won't be flying much, you'll be just driving. Especially if you've got the facilities that I've got. Driving night or day is a challenge. But that's all I can say at this point. If you want any more information, just look up other people's YouTube channels and you'll have another idea. But with me, as you can see, I'm using iRetina. And most of my testing is actually been on the iRetina and setting up just to get this experience yes I agree about to turn down the graphic settings but at the end of the day if you want playability and with consistency and reliability you have to make sacrifices me personally I like SLI and 4K but obviously to get that tuned up it's not consistent enough to play for hours and in our group we've actually got our own server so basically our player can just hop on at any time and interact with the guide just through one person and they don't need to sit down for hours just to join in It's now set up this morning because um, there have been some updates I've got to reset the functionalities. But sometime today it will be come back up and it'll be up all day. I have a funny feeling I'm going the wrong way. No, if that's terminal six, then I'm going the wrong way.
So I've got to drive towards Terminal 4 to get Terminal 6 to get to Terminal 4. Why don't I just go back up this up? It's easier. I would like to take the cyclone on, but the settings are not set up for it. You've got to learn to walk before you can run. I'm going to put my foot down. Now I can see it's bumpy. So obviously I'm going to take my foot off the gas now. See, the good thing is, at the moment, there's no penalty on damage on the vehicles. But a few patches back, you have to drive really careful if you wanted to get, reach the distance. Now my foot's hard down. you'll start seeing me slowing down that like it's getting very bumpy I don't really want to topple it you see Slightly off the beaten track now, as you can see, so I have to come off the gas.
I am using Toby 4C on this and that's why it's more immersion when it comes to graphics going over bumps and all them things head tracking can't do this alone This can all be done with a normal webcam but for position and accuracy it would have to be VR or this I've now made it to Terminal 3 Slow down! with the head tracking or the IRS you do get a better self of awareness of where you are because of the response times you get I would take the ballista out but it's going to take a heck of a long time but that's the best vehicle learned to drive in because it's so difficult whoa the cyclone is like you're driving on a pivot there's an object coming up in front of me do go left or do go right There's my next checkpoint there in front as you can see. But I can't go any faster because the road's bumpy. It's a clearing. That must be checkpoint two. 
Whoa! That could be a fry. At the moment, you can't really sense the speed. You know what I mean? But I can because I've had to take my foot off the gas. So I'm not getting all that clutter, clatter, clatter. We can just about hear the engines. That, that my speed has been reduced by about 75%. Now you see what I've lost now sense of direction. Okay. We know there's a terminal. You know something? Let me go change ships. I presume that will be Terminal 3 that. I don't think it's Terminal 1 or 2. Oh, by the way, when you do go to um, 3.9, and you decide to drive one of these ships, make sure you've got the right clothing. If you're in the rover, you don't need to worry about the heating. But if you're in a cyclone, you're going to have problems. Those are the only clues I can give you. Without breaking NDA. Basically, I'm only give you what they've already discussed on the internet already through um, other Discord channels. But there are things I've actually discovered myself, which I'm not actually going to discuss. But what I'm saying today, you know about the cold environment, you know about spacesuits and whatnot. Okay, but what I didn't, didn't display, the vehicles also have an impact. Like this vehicle, for instance, it's got its own cab heating. Okay, so you can drive this around Microtech and not freeze. But if you're going to a cyclone, all right, you have to have the right gearing. Now the point is, we're all talking about the cold weather. Now, what about the, um, the heated weather and rain and stuff like that? Everything's reversed. Those are just little clues. You're going to get bored of flying and you're going to want to check out all these new things, especially with your land vehicles. And if you haven't got a land vehicle, don't worry about it. Because they're very cheap to buy in game. Just a couple of hours doing the right cargo missions and as you know the game's persistent you've got the vehicles I've got two of these one that I bought in game and one that I um, that I get with my ships I bought the ballista in game you know what I mean so I can use them to test why didn't I buy it outright because for my fleet I need about 14 or 15 of them you know what I mean so to buy all those just for a couple of uses each time and to me, it's not worth it. Not that the ship is not worth it for my role play. Plus, I've got all the ships in the game anyway. So, demical things 
is a novelty to go and buy the main game. It gives me a little bit of a challenge. But anyway, let's get out of here. I want to go get a ship out. Am I stuck? Oh, keep the game. <laughs> you see, I'm used to foot controls, you see, so switching back and forwards is not easy. But I'm doing this because I'm actually testing the Toby 4C. And because of, I've only got one access on my foot pedal, everything has to go back under the joysticks. See? I keep forgetting. I'm actually going to take the cyclone now, okay, but I've not got nothing set for that. But you can see the twitchiness and the mistakes that I've been making. It's not anything's wrong with the cyclone. My settings have to be actually adjusted. If I adjust my settings for the cyclone, they will actually work for the rover. Because it's not as sensitive than you see. I did used to own my um I did used to own my own grey cat but like I said I want to buy things in games to see what it's like so what I did I got rid of my grey cat and I bought one in the game for 5k just for the pleasure of buying something in the game but all the other ships I've got like big ships I actually own them ships I'm actually looking. I keep the problem is I'm using foot control and it won't work. I've just disconnected it. Ah, there's there's a cyclone. I really don't know how this vehicle will handle but it does need to be reprogrammed but when I do set it up for this the rover will be a doddle the cyclone will be a doddle because this is a very twitchy machine you see lights on Morning, you come and say I'm streaming. Morning, you come miss. I am streaming. Yep, morning, Papa. Morning, Yaza. Good Morgan. Activate systems. Now, with this machine, as you can see, I've got the radar. Okay, that's what's in the ballista and all the other functionality. But one thing I've got in here is the speed control. So you can actually see, but like I said, it's a bit twitchy because this isn't set up. Lights on.
Lights on. I am very, very cautious with this, so don't forget you can't go fast as it can. I know what to expect, so I've got to take it very cautiously. People say I'm just old and I'm a Sunday driver, but I've got lots of experience in driving over the years. But you'll notice my speed's building up. Okay, no, I can't get no speed. I am trying to go, trying to go faster. Yeah, I know I can skim the surfaces, but I might hit a rock. Like I said, I might hit a rock. That's because the settings have not been set yet. But as you can see, the smoothness is not there like it was in the rover. Because it just needs to be reset, you see. Plus I'm also magnified. A few days ago, I could not do this on the magnification, it was that twitching. You can tell it's jumping because look at the speed I'm going there now and it's flying and the minute I come off the speed I'm not flying 
and I'm not even going the full speed, I'm only going about one third of the speed. Because the terrain is actually rocky. I'm trying to get the speed up there, trust me. Okay. As you can see. I ran out of runway. It's got good brakes though. I'm actually looking for opening at the moment. My 
place all the way down to the ground now. Now I'm skimming. If I could keep my wheels on the ground, I would be going a lot faster than this. But obviously, if your wheels are off the ground, you've got no traction, obviously. Whoa! Scan. Scanning for all ships. Scan enemy. Scanning for enemy ships. Right, I need to change something on here. Let's see what displays I've got. Divert power to the shields. I know one thing, when you start messing with these controls, they don't work. Reset systems. So leave those as they are. Oh, comms don't work. Okay. Shields don't work. That doesn't work. Right, so the control panel doesn't work. Mm, okay. This could break this. Ah, we got something. You don't spread it around. 
<laughs> well, if you want, I'll share it. No, we don't want it. Right, okay. Full scan. Scanning for all ships. Select enemy. That don't seem to be working. But obviously the navigator in the arm passenger seat might get it working. So if you like what you've done, put a like and a subscribe and post your comments. If you'd like to join our Discord channels and learn more, our link is there below. As you know, I start at Terminal 6 and I'm going to finish up at Terminal 1. And then I'm going to have some breakfast. And then I'm going to come back on there and might do some more streaming. But I actually want to do um, some other testing today actually. Now that I've got um, a few hours away from my Viva Catty testing. I haven't broken any NDA rules, okay? I'm only repeating what I've seen in other channels. And one more thing, there's a lot of speculation going around that they might be doing a server wide. I've not seen any evidence of that at the moment. That means it could be slightly be blown out of proportion. I do believe that can actually be fixed in game at the moment, you know what I mean? So starting everybody's accounts, I don't really see the point. It's just pushing everybody back to square one. And the guys want to learn how to buy these ships in game, etc. And continue role play. So being an exploit, it all depends on what the... Oh, what they mean in exploit because at the end of the day CIG can monitor these things and keep under control but why at the end of the day restart the game for one or two people because at the end of the day they'll make mistakes and they'll lose it If something goes wrong with the account, CID don't need to reset everybody's account. Why? Because you can choose to reset it yourself, so that's actually your choice. Me? Because I put so much work into the game, I will only set my account 
if it's necessary. That's because they do a lot of role play with the guys you see and we need components and we need this and we need that and to do all that takes hours and time. Like I said we create our own role play so we can have enjoyment and also do testing and all that kind of things. One more thing you need to take into account as you already know we've got the virus knocking around okay now what that means is CIG is working from home now the problem is because they're working from home the left hand isn't telling the right hand what's going on so this is going to create more bugs but if they didn't do that they couldn't do no programming at all and but the problem is then they've got to bring everything back from home back to work with somebody in office to put these test things in and make sure things work but like I said it's all down to communication so things will slow down but we've got something still coming into the game they've not put it on standby and you've got nothing so that's a good thing at the end of the day if they all stayed at work they all get sick you'd have nothing but the development will slow down okay and there will be more bugs so it's no point you complaining this is not working that's not working think about it I put my equipment home my PC slow okay so I'm doing things that in my own time there back at home but now I've done it all I've got to bring it back into the office I give to somebody in the office they don't know how to work it they put it in something breaks you're back to square one but because they're all working together in the office they can fix it pretty quick because they've got the speed and they've got the technology our PCs at home are not as fast as PG's PCs at their works it's like become mainframes etc so take this into account it's no point complaining this is broken at least they're trying to keep the game developed so help them support them at the end of the day yeah you know I mean so they can carry it on or you've got nothing then what are you gonna what are you gonna do Think about it. So what you're saying is don't criticise, work with what you've got. Because CIG are doing their best. It's not good enough, the money I'm paying them. Don't you start. Commander Yoza wants a pay rise. And I'm not going to give him a pay rise. You're still avoiding paying that 12 grand back to me. Oh, I gave it to Little Miss! Yeah, right. <laughs> <I've> got... <laughs> he gave me nothing. He doesn't know that. As in real life as well. Nothing! I'm actually stuck in here now, I'm trying to find a way out. I just click as I've got a socket 312. That's me going back on myself there. So in here is like a maze.
I'm gonna have to go out the way I came. Making my own route here. get to number one so what I'll do I can drive on the outside that's gonna bring me right back to this terrain Man, the yo's how much credits have we got now anyway? Yo's he there? That's very personal question, you know? Oh, is it? Now I was actually thinking of doing um, some more cargo runs to then do it on stream, you see. So he showed them, we can show them um, how we do things when it comes to fleet transportation. Idea. See, the commission is in charge of deliveries at the moment, and we're doing um. So we actually need about three, four people to do this, but the compass is unavailable at the moment. So it'd be, it'd be me, Yoza, Bison, and we might have to find someone who can do logistics to fix the ships, pay the credits out and refuel them. Have sunrise. And I'm actually coming back on myself here.
I'm going to try and drive all the way around Leske. Surprise, surprise. That's what happens when you're not paying attention. Engines off. Power off. Activate systems. Power on. Power on. Power off. At this stage, I don't want to get out of the vehicle unless it's necessary. Activate systems. You see, getting in the vehicles on the other side. And I'm trapped. Power off. Shields are off. Weapons off. Activate systems. Systems. System check. You see, I can get out of the vehicle and get back in by my glitch, you see. But over time, it should correct itself. Systems off. Power off. Weapons system is off. Activate systems. Systems. System check. See, because the way the vehicle's placed. I don't know if I can get back into the driver's seat from the angle it's at. Systems off. Power off. Weapons system is off. This is what I mean. This is the reason why I didn't want to get out of the vehicle because you can see I'm actually trapped now. Well, let's hope for the best. Heartbeat steady.
You can do it. No. Not in this case. It's too close. There's no there's no freedom of movement. No, that's because you're stuck between the two. Yeah. The only way this vehicle could be dislodged. Oh wait a minute. Is it just another vehicle to push it free? What I'm trying to do is crawl underneath it, you see. I know, I'm sat here watching you. Sorry. Ah, I think I've got a headway. Now what's happened there is desync. Right. Seventeen kilometers for me to run back. And it sounds like the vehicle's round by me somewhere. But if that's 17 kilometers, all I've got to do is find Terminal 1 because it's not that far.
there on the left there somewhere, but I don't think I can get it from here. I will say this is another small result. If I run around this result, shouldn't have a problem then. There's something. Seventeen kilometers to be exact. But I want to see I think there's the nearest I'm at um the robot is at terminal three. And that's seventeen kilometers. So I would say terminal one is about no more than about five kilometers. I'll come back tomorrow and see you arriving. Have you got any suggestions? Yeah, press and hold the backspace button. What does that do? That's not going to happen. Oh, you <laughs> kill yourself. Now, Pepper doesn't kill himself unless absolutely necessary. But for the sake of the stream, it's necessary. And what do you learn from that? That you can continue trying to do what you were demonstrating. No, I'll be going for breakfast ice cream. I'm literally starving. I've done one kilometre already. I need to get round this result. I knew I should have went right. And this way it gives me a good picture of the map of what the area is like. Time and distance and everything else.
It's this result I've got to get round. I should went the rails going, it was better. I've got to run round this result. Oh, look at Miss! Yes! Have you been in the um, Blue Channel yet? Yeah. Have you read what I've been putting in there today? Yeah, about the satellites and what have you. Okay. And? Well, what is there to say? You've got it spot on as per usual. Satellites do what they do. And the internet is underneath the ground, most of it. No, that's cables. I was just giving the examples, actually. I mean, that the uh, internet isn't really that effective. Affected, basically. I mean, it's just a hype there for the system to make more money out of our miseries. Well, technology has moved on so fast in the last 40 years, it's just unbelievable. I just try to break it down in different categories. Yeah, I saw that. I know that came about from one innocent remark. In what senors, though? No, he was asking a question, you know what I mean? But you know what I'm like. I like to explain everything to oh, the way I, I see know it. What like. Ah, we have visual.
I think I've just lost our um, connection. Oh, I've got it back. Yeah, yeah, you have. Yeah. It should be the right after this binding.
Well, it persistent and made it back home safely. And this is what this game is all about. No, it doesn't. He's only playing with us. And don't forget, when a game is developed, it's all about reputation survival. You know what I mean? And how much you lose if you just kill yourself just like that. So why not learn it now, while the game's in development, so when the game does start, you've got a head start. That's the way I see it. And all the time you're learning. It's all about viewable content. People are not going to sit around and watch you running around for her. They want you to do things. The stream originally was supposed to be testing the um, the yeah, voice. Yeah, you, 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 you got distracted. <laughs> if you'd have suicided, you would have been back out on the road and do what you were originally. I've always done it this way. That's not going to change. And so is your viewership. Well, as you can see, folks, I made it back safely. And I'm going for breakfast. Just let me find a seat. Breakfast? It's almost brunch time. Yeah, I know. We lost in six o'clock waiting. They want to go halfway through the stream, you see. Okay, viewers, thanks for all that. You're welcome. See you on the other side. <laughs>